Low Blood TV, back again with another Low Blood TV exclusive, powered by Talker Media, of course. Oh, my mama, nigga, when I tell you right now, nigga, I got the jitters, I ain't bullshit, nigga. They kind of calm down right now, man, because we broke the ice, you understand me, <laughs> man? Uh, I think we probably need a shot or two, Taj, if we got some alcohol, man. You feel me? This is a hell of an interview right now. And um, just to go down memory lane real quick, like, um, and I ain't just saying it because the nigga in my presence, like, nigga, I'm really from Oakland. And um, childhood idol, like, um, one of them niggas, when a nigga jumped in the rap game, like, okay, you feel me? I can critique my style around this. And I always had that raspy voice, so you feel me? Like, Dog was one of them niggas, like, you feel me? Um, a nigga grew up to, mobbing to, house parties, uh, selling dope, um, all type of shit, bro. Um, like I said, if I'm lying, I'm flying and on, on no plane. Um, we gon' we gon' we gon' jump. I'm from West Oakland, so we gon' jump on that 580 real quick, mm -hmm. right? We gon' pass uh 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 Lakeshore, we gon' pass Pearl Street, we gon' pass High Street, we gon' do all that. Uh -huh. I'ma get off on the hundred and six. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Normally I get off on ninety eight and I paint down when I paint mm -hmm. the east. But I'ma get off on the hundred and six, you feel mm -hmm. me? I'ma wiggle I, I, all past Huntsbury and mm -hmm. shit. You know mm -hmm. I'ma do all that, you yeah, feel me? Yeah. I might stop there at that gas station the real or, or Huntsbury, cause they got good prices on the liquor. Mm -hmm. Give me a little bottle of some old school sure. pain in the ass, you dig what I'm saying? And then I'ma uh double down. I forgot the name of the street, but I'm in the hundreds. Yeah, uh -huh, walnut. You feel me? You know that walnut oh, I know about yeah, walnut. About, yeah. yeah. You feel mm -hmm. me? I pull up. I see yeah. a nigga out there with a white T-shirt on selling CDs like it's dope. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, introducing the son, presenting uh, this keep the sneak. Man. Yada da. Bro. Little blood, my nigga. You know what I'm talking about? Man, What's first up, of all, bro? man, it's a blessing. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? To, to still be here. You know what I mean? And to still be doing what we doing. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, getting a bag from it. Mm -hmm. And making an impact, you know what mm -hmm. I mean, on this Bay shit, period. On this Oakland shit, this Bay Area shit as a whole, you feel me? But um, it's an honor and a pleasure, man, to be on Little Blood TV, man, with my Thank guy. you, man. I appreciate it. Uh, I'll be giving bro a hard time. I'll be telling him he be shaking me on this East Oakland shit. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's all <laughs> love. Um, we going to take it back to the beginning, bro. Um, what gave you that spark to do music? Um, shit up. First of all, my mama was a DJ, you know what I'm mm -hmm. talking about? Um, her and my auntie, they was called the Noisemakers. Mm -hmm. uh, my daddy had a club, you know, we was, I was born in Alabama, mm -hmm. but I've been in Oakland since I was six months, so I really, all I know is the town. But uh, he had a club out there called the Half Moon. But long story short, I just grew up around music, you know what I mean? Um, Pops always kept 1200s in there, and they always play good music, you know what I mean? Uh, so I grew up loving music, you know what I mean? I got pictures of me when I was three and four years old with guitars and drums and shit. So, you know, with that being said, I love music, man. How did you uh, link up with uh, Adrian and Bart? How, how was that tweet? Uh, my grandmama stayed in the in the dubs mm -hmm. by uh, Mazanita School on uh, 24th Ave, 25th, you feel me? Uh, Adrian Man stayed on 25th, you know what I mean? So. We met around that time, and at that time, um, I met him at, I think, at Bret Hart, Junior mm -hmm. High. Oh, so I went to Bret Hart. Yeah, yeah. We used to rap against each other every day at school, you feel me? And then um, we fucked around and then just linked up and started rapping together. You know what I mean? And then Bart? That was like 92, yeah. Then we put Bart in there like 90, late 93, 94. Wait, wait, Bart wait. and Asian Man grew up together. So. Was it three times crazy before it was born, or it was just no? It was uh, it was too raw, too raw. Yeah, okay. then it was the dual committee. Do I remember dual committee? Yeah, and then it was three times crazy. Okay. Mm -hmm. What um, keep it real. What era you say was the latest? The uh, three times dual committee era or the hyphy movement for Keek? Um. Ooh, that's hard to say, man. Yeah, that's a come great on. question. Uh, damn. I say the hyphy movement because it didn't um, it didn't last it a little longer for me. You feel mm -hmm. me? Like the three times era was like uh, I got like two or three good years, like 94, 95, 96, 97, You know what I mean? Ninety eight. You know what I mean? And then it went into the hyphy. You feel me? Like two thousands. You know? But I say the hyphy movement. You know? Me me coming up um, after the hyphy movement, and I mean my musical career because I was for sure head first in the hyphy movement. Mm -hmm. um, I think the hyphy movement to me, 
I think it kind of fucked off the bay a little bit, bro. And I'm glad I could talk to one of the pioneers of the hyphy movement. Uh-huh. And what I mean by that is um, they was thinking all we was doing was ghost riding the whip. Yeah. But they wasn't listening to that kick we was listening to. Right, you get what I'm saying? Right, they was right. listening to the um, Tell Me When to Go Key. Right. The shit they was hearing like on the radio type shit. Like, you know, not the the CD, the underground, the, you know what I mean? The, you feel me? Um, you know, Hyphy had a different definition than what motherfuckers right. think now, you know. Talk First to it me. was like, man, man, go somewhere with all that Hyphy shit, bro. Yeah. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. Right, you feel me? Uh, nigga, nigga, we hella Hyphy. Nigga, I'm telling you, nigga, nigga, we Hyphy. Right. You feel me? And then they went to the, you know, Gigging with it and, and doing all that, so you know, yeah, it's it's just crazy, man, how that shit did. You feel when, me? when I was in YA, high feet, like you said, was we bouncing off this bed, kicking off this rock. Yeah, nigga, we finna get dumbass high feet. Yeah, something. tear this motherfucker up. You know what I mean? So yeah, <laughs> he said high feet, uh, high feet fucked up. They fucked the whole shit and, up. Yeah, and I say that because, <laughs> um, like I said, they they wasn't listening to the. White T-shirt CD selling key. Right, you get what I'm saying? Right. It was more of the tell me when to go key. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, mind you, I'm violating YA. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. Mm-hmm. And people like, oh, you niggas popping pills all day. Right. And they didn't really understand the uh-huh. culture of hyphy. You get yeah. what I'm saying? And uh-huh. me and Fab had this discussion where I told Fab, like, um, I think they presented the wrong shit. You get what I'm saying? Because yeah. At that time, Jeezy and Gucci hit because they was talking about that shit we was living. Right. And we had rappers like the Keeks, the Stalins, right. the Jackers, who was talking about that shit, but that was not getting pushed. Right. Yeah, that shit. That shit crazy, man. And then you got to think, um, the Hyphy movement popped off like later, it, like 08, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? 09, when they really started getting the mainstream. Um, view of it, mm-hmm. you know. Our our hyphy was from two thousand to right. oh four oh five when we was my come my t shirt blue jeans yeah. like, when we was mm, 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 right. You feel me? It wasn't the the <laughs> nah. It was yeah. like my music, yeah, yeah. That bass you know, line, yeah. So uh, you know, it's just crazy how I got introduced to the world. You know, that that's how I was introduced. To the world when they when the world seen it, you know what I mean as a whole. You feel me? Right, it right, It was right. that's what they thought it was. Like we was on some lightweight clown shit. Like it was, thank you, nigga. Say it, nigga. Say it, nigga. Like, say yeah, it, like, nigga. Niggas is clown. Take another shot to niggas that. Niggas is clowns. Nah, it wasn't. It, it, it ain't never been that one. That ain't never been the hyphy movement. My hyphy movement for sure. Never. You know what I mean? Right. Um, what mood was you in? Or 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 take me back to that time when um. Shout out to Big Breath Fody. Shout out to Uncle Earl. Yeah. Shout out to Fody. Shout out tycoon. to Tycoon. You know, yeah, we drinking yeah. that Tycoon. <clears throat> Boom. Um, what rhythm was you in when he had tapped in with you about that song? Um, Tell me when to go. 40? Yeah. Uh, I was in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. I had my birthday had just passed. I threw a party at Jimmy's. It was lit. I was in that motherfucker going crazy. Uh, I was in Atlanta. And, uh, Fody, he called me, you know what I mean, to... Uh, to tell me to do, he wanted to give me a muscle car. So tell me when to go wasn't even in the picture yet. Right, you know I mean? it was muscle car. It was muscle car. And um, he like, I'm in Atlanta. And if you know what I mean, I'm like, I'm in Atlanta. He mm. like, oh, big. We had um, Outcast studio. We mm. had Fonconia studio, right? So I went through there, you feel me? And um, knocked out uh Muscle car, did a verse, boot, you know what I mean, Lil John, Bob, and you know, that's all I was doing. Then I did the hook too. But, uh, so, a little scrappy, a lot of my, a few motherfuckers was there that night, you know what I mean? Um, it was me and Dane Fang, you feel me? Uh, mm-hmm. I fucked around and dozed off, fell asleep. I woke up and Lil John had made that boom, 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 they asked me, did I have a hook for it? Mm-hmm. So I was like, yeah, we was already on some go shit. We right. was like, nigga, 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 go. nigga, 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 I've been going, nigga, yeah. go. So uh, I just jumped in there on it, tell me when to go. You know what I mean? Tell me when to go. Then, um, 
That nigga sampled that motherfucking uh, Ron DMC, that dumb girl, that dumb, dumb uh, bum, and it was a rap. It was like, oh, you feel me? Yeah. And nigga Lil John was like, man, you might as well do a verse. Right, right. right, right. <laughs> I'm like, all right, come on. I knocked out a verse. Um, so you did Muscle Cars and Tell Me When to Go in the same night? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, so you was cheating. You was on one that oh, day. Oh, yeah, I was they on. They could have did an album. Man, I was <laughs> recording me. Yeah. One take and shit, too. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Yeah. For sure. Hell, yeah, I was on my shit, you know? I was recording every day, so it was like, that shit was second nature. Was, right, right. I wanted to, what, what we got? Let me hear it. You know what I mean? But, um, yeah, that was a, in one night. Did you, know you I mean? um know that song was going to be special at that time? Yeah. yeah it, was, it had yeah. that type of vibe mm -hmm. to it, huh? It hit us just like that. So mm -hmm. was the... um. Was the Muscle Car the lead, was going to be the lead single? or I think so. Ooh. I think he was going with Muscle Car first. Ooh. And then, because I think 40 was um, looking for a, a single at that time. Mm. I think that was before uh, You and That Booty. So that was before mm. that song, too. And all that was on the same project, huh? Hell yeah. Mm. Mm. Salute to 40 for keeping for you sure. on both them for songs. Sure. Like, that's yeah. big. Yeah. Like, like damn. motherfuckers don't know. I'm on, like, shit. About six forty albums, starting yeah. from like ninety six. Right, right, you know right, I mean? right. Yeah. Mm, yeah. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Yeah, he always came and got me though. You know what I mean? Forty. You know what I mean? That's crazy. Um, <clears throat> 40, I, I had a conversation with him early this morning for about. 30, 40 minutes, and mm -hmm. he just, you know, uh, I see what you're doing, like, For you know, sure. stay on your shit. Uh -huh. And um, you know that, like I said, bro, I grew up listening to you niggas, like, you feel me? For and um, sure. that shit meant so much to me, bro, like, yeah. Um, you know, for my elders, my older constituents, to give a nigga his flowers, bro, and to be, yeah. like I said, sitting here with you, bro, um, it's just trying to blank because For of sure. the, the jitters and shit, bro. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Um, to hear how magical shit was, bro, like, yeah. That shit was different. That yeah. shit was different. Um, during that time, did you have any like major contracts on the table? Uh, yeah. Before then, I mean, a lot of people was trying to sign me. You know what I mean? Uh, but they was trying to give me two hundred thousand, four hundred thousand. And that on the block. man, I was like, shit. Um, Sylvia Rome, she, she wanted to give me a million. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, at the time, who was Sylvia Rome? Universal. Okay. I think. Well, I think she signed Nelly, and she. Ah. Um, uh. Well, was it? I think Ti or one of Nelly or somebody. I think um, Sylvia Rome, but she she a big factor in the game. Uh huh. She um she came to my house in Sac. You feel me? And wanted to sign me. Um. At that time, I was doing a lot of shit, hella projects. You know what I mean? Um. <clears throat> it was a lot of it was a lot of motherfuckers saying that. They had me signed. Mm. So she was like, you know, kind of skeptical, but she was like, um, I hear you signed to a lot of different labels. I'm like, hell no. Right. Right? Um, you know, I think that kind of that kind of fucked that deal off because she was kind of skeptical about signing me and then hell of motherfuckers coming, coming out the Woolworths the Woolworth saying they had me up under some paperwork or some shit like that. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, that kind of that kind of fucked me up, you know what I mean, with just Hella projects, you right, know what I mean? Right. Like I said, I was just working. So, right, yeah, yeah. You know, um, you know, as of now, uh, I know what you're talking about because um, I be do, I do a project with a motherfucker. You know, a motherfucker probably give you some bread for, sure. for a project. Mm -hmm. You knock the project out yeah. and quote unquote, uh -huh. you feel me? Because uh, yeah. they put their label on top of the yeah. Nigga, this was a money play. Get what yeah. I'm saying? So I definitely understand that. Um, do you think if um, you were around in the streaming area era, should it be much more different? Yeah. And I what I mean so. by that, you know, coming up, we had MySpace. Right. You feel me? Yeah. But, you know, it's SoundCloud. There's so many different avenues yeah. out here now. Yeah, yeah, do you so think, many different platforms. Yeah, sure. do you think if um, Blue Jeans and Nikes was out during the streaming era, do you think a nigga would be on a whole different... For sure, uh -huh. for sure, for sure. The game, like, you know, like I always say, I'm original before digital because mm. I come from the era of four track real, mm. um, eight track, um, you know what I mean? Eight track, 16 track, uh, D88s, ADAT, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Two inch real. Before 
Pro Tools, when you had right. to really rap for three minutes, you know what I mean, and spit all the hooks. You had to do them all live. Mm -hmm. It wasn't do the hook once and you could fly a motherfucker everywhere. Nah. nah, you had to do all the hooks, you know what I yeah. mean? I'm from that era. You right, know what I'm talking right, about? Right. Yeah, the era of the, the posters yeah. and flyers and word of mouth. Man, radio play was hella hard to get. So right. if you did get spent on the radio. Nigga, you had the radio on beat. lock. Nigga, fuck I'm, is you talking I'm about, I'm just nigga? saying, but it was, I had to break that barrier because right. it was hella hard to get on the radio. And if you wasn't on a major label, because they paying for that shit. You right, know what I mean? Right, So, yeah, I broke that barrier, bro, with, um, shit, the streets. The streets. Too much of a demand. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think it was Mess who said it. Like, the Bay is one of the hardest markets to break. For sure. And and when a nigga break that, nigga, it's, it's cookies. Right, right, right. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, what's your relationship with Sack, man? Cause I hear you always say, nigga, I'm the king, the Bay, and the Sack. Yeah, right? yeah. I yeah. love Sack. Sacramento is like my second home. Mm -hmm. And then um, on my daddy's side of, of the family is out there. Okay, you know what I mean. So we got a farm and okay. animals and hella shit. Farm boys, boys. the farm boys, okay. real Talk farm though. Dogs, you know what I mean. Birds, nigga, everything. So I've been going out there since like '90. I always fucked with my cousins in sack. And then um, my I got a cousin that was my age, rest in peace, Double L. He passed, you know what I mean. And that's who I used to always go fuck with in sack. And when he passed, I just start doing hella music and dedicating it to him because right. he was a major. He was a major factor out there in sack in North Sacramento, right. in the Heights where he from. You know what I mean. So. I just kept sack lit in his name because mm -hmm. I, you know, it hurt me that he passed. He passed from natural causes too. Mm -hmm. Didn't nobody kill him or nothing. He just he passed away exactly. from you know in the hospital. You know, so um, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Um, you probably killed me for this off the camera, but um, I fucking hate that you put Alchemist on that one song, bro. And I love the fuck out that song, but I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I hope that was a label move. You talking nigga, about uh, the, that, that go. go with Prodigy? Yeah, man. Damn. Label, yeah, nigga. Can we take a shot? Can we take a shot to that? <laughs> He wasn't supposed to be on that one. Man, though. that nigga wasn't supposed to be on that one, man. That nigga was supposed to be on the beat or something at the end, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but... I mean, uh, you know, it is what it was. You feel me? <laughs> Before I knew it, the nigga had dropped the verse. Right. Was, I'm thinking I'm getting the mob deep. You feel me? Yeah, both, okay. both of them. Yeah. yeah. Oh. For a minute, so, I thought it was the other nigga. Yeah. Before I realized, oh, that's Alchemist? Ah. Oh. But, I mean, you know... You know, no offense, and I ain't, you know, I ain't talking bad about bread. No, no, I'm just no saying. I, I'm talking, so, you I'm know, talking this right, it's good. TV, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, he can't say that, nigga, but throw me a beat, nigga, or something, nigga. You gotta make up but, for that one. Hey, but, yeah, so that's how that really went. Okay. And, uh, you know. And what was your, um, oh my God moment in this shit? Like, okay, nigga, I'm here. Like, um, <clears throat> the, uh, shit. Oh my God, I'm here, huh? I say, um, t shirt, jeans, and Nikes. Uh, talk to that me. Copium, that album right yeah. there. Um, yeah. I put a lot of work into that album because um, I was trying to beat all the statistics mm -hmm. that they were saying. You know what I mean? First, it was, uh, you know, uh, you don't got no singles. You know what I mean? Then it was, uh, well, I came with Here Come Keith the Sneak. Okay, mm -hmm. well, everybody don't know who Keith the Sneak is yet. Okay, all right, well, you feel me? Then they, they turned around and contradicted themselves. I do a copium, damn near album full of everything. I was thinking video when I was writing. Yeah, that was your best body Yeah, work, I was sure. thinking like, yeah, video. Uh, 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 this is how I was coming. And then they played T-shirt, jeans, and Nikes. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like, you know. And I'm saying, uh, my nigga told me, don't be scared. I'm going to run the street just like him. T-shirt, blue jeans, and Nike. Stay strapped with a 4 5. I wish a nigga would try me. They yeah. playing that on the radio. Yeah. It got added. You feel me? When I first did it, I had three verses. And then when they I made it new again and put 40 on it. And and that's when they started oh, playing the version with 40 on, okay. on the uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. My nigga told me don't be scared. I'ma run the street Take just like him. Yeah. T shirt, blue jeans, and Nike. Okay. Stay strapped with a four five. five. I, I wish a nigga, nigga would try. try. Yeah, that was um <laughs> One of them ones I always wanted to know what a nigga said right yeah, there. Yeah. And then I I think I deciphered it. Um, zap on my lap. 
Hell on my strap. strap. Smoking, Smoking purple, purple sipping, sipping yak. yak. Okay, because the way you said it, like. Yeah, because I. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, that was that Floormatic. You know, yeah. that was that three time shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, like I said, bro, this is music, a nigga. Yeah, you man, this shit, is, this shit is soulful. This shit won't die. You right, know what I mean? right. I, when that shit come on today, it's like I was it just, just gonna came say that. out it's today. Yeah. yeah, you feel me? Yeah, they be reacting like nigga, like that shit just came out today. I'm yeah. like, damn, this shit over ten years old, right? You feel and me? it's crazy too. Um, Oakland native, it's like you a part of that culture. Yeah, like, you get what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like from no matter what age, like you know a kid for sure. Like, for sure. And, um, how does that make you feel, bro? Like you so man, humble uh, and like Yeah, I'm super humble with it because it was on purpose. I'm yeah, Oakland, that's that's me. I got sure. everything I'm bring, giving you from the town. You yeah. know what I mean? This is what raised me. This is how I write, you know, everything I do is some Oakland shit. For sure. Period. Lingo, so, swag, yeah, everything. Man, so like, yeah, I, you know, I yeah, I, I I'm a part of this. You right, know what I mean? Right. And you know, it inspired me. To know that I inspired others like you, like mm -hmm. you know, motherfuckers to just do their body of work and come with that shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, cause we got it. You know, we it's a, we talented. I ain't gonna front my shit, Keek. Um, in that day, you can be standing next to a nigga who got on a ten thousand dollar Gucci fit. You got that fresh five dollar white tee. Yeah, yeah, like it was different. Like you For feel sure. me? You made that like, like, like. Nigga who can't go get a white tee. Right, like, you get what I'm right, saying? Like, right. you made that shit so, I don't know the word, bro, but you made that, like, ah, bro, I can't think of the word, but you made that shit, like, so accepted and so, like, nigga, he's yeah, speaking for us. For like, sure. And, and this is before the record even came out. That was our dress code. Right. You feel me? Right. You know, we little dirty niggas. We probably for ain't sure. taking a shower in two right. days. But I'm going to throw a fresh tee on. And be nigga like this, yeah. yeah. Saucy, you know what I'm saying? Simple and saucy. Yeah, and my game is everything. Impeccable. It ain't, yeah, it ain't the money, the chains, and the chains. No, it's, it's my game, period. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Yeah. I um, yeah. see pictures now from me back in the day. Big ass jeans, little cuffs, little dusty <laughs> shoes, but that white tee. That white tee, though, nigga like this. With his chest For out. Sure. Yeah, For like, sure. um, it's like I miss them days when he and it cost you nothing to be saucy. Right, you know, saucy right. was your mouthpiece. For saucy was sure. how you pop it. It was your, you get what yeah, I'm saying? It was your personality. Yeah. It now was, it's like you, know, you gotta have a big watch, the big yeah. chain, the, a Miri's. Like I grew up yeah. in that era where a five dollar white tee, you was the nigga. For sure. Like, yeah, and you couldn't count a nigga money because you don't know what a nigga got. Because then they got a fresh cut, fresh talk line, fresh taper, and a white tee on. Talk to me. Him smelling like weed. Yeah, at the function. Spitting it, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, confidence through the roof. Yeah. You can't tell him nothing. <laughs> yeah. I don't give a fuck what you got, nigga. I'm some harder than you. Yeah, I'm out here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm out yeah. here, man. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. And I, and I want some attention because I deserve it. Right, right, yeah. right. Um, five years from now, man, where do you see Keek? Um, <clears throat> I see Keek, man. Um. Really heavy into the marijuana game, man. Talk to really, me. my own strand and my shit popping. My delivery service is, you know, big. Hyphy Collective is as big as Cookie. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, my weed brand is on autopilot. It's 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 running. You know what I mean? Nephew, me and Neff running it. We and and shit doing what it should be doing. Uh, you know, I got a lot. I got talented kids. My son is raw. And my daughter, she's super raw, you feel me? Um, I see them, I see me behind their music and mm. letting them keep the torch lit, you know what I mean? Uh, I just see myself still doing what I do, still doing shows, still um, still doing music, you know mm. what I mean? Because five years from now, me, yeah, I ain't gonna be that old, you know mm. what I mean? Uh, I see myself still representing, you know what I mean, this Bay Area shit, this Oakland shit, um, putting my stamp in the game, man, and just uh, keeping it lit, man, you feel me? Yeah. Not to cut your wisdom short, bro. Uh, but I think niggas like you are, are embedded in music culture. Like, you will never be too old to not right. release music. Yeah. And then it's like you have an original sound. Like, you have an unorthodox sound yeah. to where it can't be matched. Yeah. So, you know, you can recreate your flow, recreate yourself, 
however many times you want to. You yeah. get what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's just my opinion. Right. I don't think, uh, like I interviewed Too Short a couple of uh, months back, and he said at 56, he's making more money in the last two years than he did in his whole career. Yeah. So you feel me? Yeah. And you're nowhere near 56. Right. So you feel me? I believe as if, like I said, a nigga of your stature should be able. For sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, I want to ask you about flowers. Mm -hmm. um, give me three people off the top of your dome you want to give flowers to. Uh, huh. I'll give you five. Okay. Uh, shit. Uh, Hmm. Good question. I would. I would definitely say um, you. You know what I mean. Salute. Um, Styling. Salute. Um, Mozzie. Salute. Um, hmm. Young Guap Dad. Salute. You know. Um, and Young Jr. Salute. Salute. You know? Imagine what that song would sound like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Imagine what that uh, song would sound uh, like. Yeah. Man. Um, My list could go on and on, but sure. just off the top, yeah. For sure. I definitely want to give y'all dudes y'all flowers, man. For sure. I you appreciate know. it. I don't want to keep you for hella long, man. Um, I appreciate you for sitting down with me. Man, for nigga, we sure. got to do part we two. We do part two and three. Yeah. Nigga, yeah, I'll just say man, that because the lights rolling. No, 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 no. I ain't feeling like you so, scratch the Man, I already told Neff that um, blood, we ain't finna even yeah. play these games no more. When <laughs> my, my nigga hit me, we pulling up, and we finna knock it out like boxing. Oh, know? my mama. Oh, yeah. and just before we cut, um, I've never seen this shit in my life. Um, we in the store. YG and Ty out here shooting a video. Mm -hmm. We in the store. And, um, you know, I'm paying attention to shit, blah, blah, blah. Tiger tapped one of his little manager. He like, hey, that's Keith the Sneak. And um, the dude like, you know, I don't think the dude was familiar. He like, who? He like, bro, fucking Keith the Sneak, bro. Yeah. Like, you feel me? <laughs> Keith, nigga. Like, you feel me? Yeah. So I'm just watching it play out. Woo -dee -woo -dee -woo. So uh, Tiger like, that's Keith, right? I'm like, yeah. And it was just to see them yeah. like embrace you like that. Sure. Even YG like, nigga, what? For like, sure. nigga, like, they for talking sure. to me like, nigga, that's key, duh. For sure. Like, you feel me? Yeah. But just how we take our legends for granted. Right. Like, you feel me? Yeah. And that's that's weird on our behalf right. because um, it take a nigga from cultures away. You yeah. get what I'm to, saying? To really come and to say, To come what? and be like, exactly. Yeah. And um, for me to see that, it kind of woke my game up, and you know, I'm always, whenever I see you, I'm big bro, for like, sure. I'm stopping whatever I'm doing, for not sure. even on no dick ride, none of that. shit, none just of that. salute, and, none you of that. know, yeah. um, appreciate what came before me, and was yeah, yeah. still here in the now, for like, sure. you know, um, sure. you got a lot of niggas that came up under you that's washed up, Right. you get what I'm saying, for sure. no longer relevant, right, right, nigga. right. we still got you here in the now, and yeah. you're here to give out this good game, or, you know, just a blessing nigga with features and shit, mm -hmm. still. like, you're here, yeah. and for me to see people that's considered as superstars yeah. embrace you like for that, sure. it was a whole different, you get what I'm saying, yeah. and like I said, it wasn't even on no fake shit, uh, weeks no. later, they throwing you up, nigga, for sure. this key, like, for you sure. feel me, and for me to see that, that meant so much, because it's Man. like, okay, nigga, we got hometown heroes. Yeah. Like, you feel what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, you know, I be seeing memes like, um, New York got Biggie, East Coast got, West Coast got Tupac, well, right. now Oakland got Keith the Sneak. For sure. You get what I'm For saying? Sure. So, um, For sure. So, big salute and big flowers yes, to that sir. big bro. Sure. Um, I appreciate you for pulling up, yeah. nigga. We gotta do this again yeah. and again. We gonna figure it out, man. Yeah. And uh, it's love, man. Let's talk to this good love. life, man. It's all love, baby. Yes, sir. Little blood TV. Yes, nigga, sir. My nigga, my brother. Yes, sir. Yada.